Yo, what's up? It's your boy Goldie Fuego, and welcome back to another YouTube video. And today we are recontinuing on the Skyward Sword, uh, Hylia's Realm, reunite with Zelda in the world of the past. All right, and if you haven't seen my previous Skyward Sword videos, I advise you to go watch them. And um, yeah, just get caught up with everything, because um, this is basically going to be a talking video. It's not going to be nothing special, but uh, hold up. Impa! Hey! Hey! At last! I've been expecting you! Link, you are doubtless overwhelmed, so I will explain things as simply as I can. This is the Temple of Hylia though it will come to be known as the Sealed Temple sometime in the future. You stand in the past, ages before your own time. Here, the goddess, Hylia, was only... Oh, okay. Here, the goddess, Hylia, has only just sealed away demise, and little time has passed since the goddess sent the outcropping of rock into the sky that will one day becomes Skyloft. It is true to its name, you have passed through the gate of time to an era in the distant past. You will have many questions, but for now, you must proceed back through the great doors behind you. It is there that the person you've risked life and blood to defend waits for you. Zelda! Okay, hold on. Before we do that, guys, I need to fix something. Yes. Oh. Sorry, sorry. That looks better. All right, let's go. Ooh, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. You've come so far, Link. I'm glad you made it. I imagine Impa filled you in on everything. We've traveled very far from home, to the distant past. In this era, the wounds inflicted on the land during the battle between the goddess and the demon king known as Demise have not yet healed. All of the fairy tales about the war we heard growing up in Skyloft, incredible as it may seem, they appear to be all too real. I think it's time you learned the whole story. Let me try to explain. The old gods created a supreme power that gave anyone who possessed it the ability to shape reality and fulfill any desire. They called it the Triforce. In his thirst to make the world his own, Demise readied a massive army of monsters for war. He sought to take the Triforce for himself by force. The goddess feared for her people. She used her power to send both them and the Triforce into the sky on a slice of earth she cut away from the land. This floating rock became the new home of our people. In time, it came to be known as Skyloft. After a long and fierce battle, the goddess, Hylia, succeeded in sealing away Demise. However, soon after the Demon King was imprisoned, it became clear that the seal would not hold long against his fearsome power. Hylia had suffered grave injuries in her battle with the Demon King. She knew that if he broke free again, there would be no stopping him. And if the Demon King were to free himself, it would mean the end of the world for all beings of this land. In order to put an end to the Demon King, Hylia devised two separate plans and set them both into motion. First, she created Phi. She made the spirit that resides in your sword to serve a single purpose, to assist her chosen hero on his mission. Her second plan was to abandon her divine form and transfer her soul to the body of a mortal. She made this sacrifice, as you have likely guessed, so that the supreme power created by the old gods could one day be used. For while the supreme power of the Triforce was created by gods, all of its power can never be wielded by one. Knowing this power was her last and only hope, the goddess gave up her divine powers and her immortal form. You've probably figured it out by now, haven't you? Link, 
You are the chosen hero. And I, Zelda, I am the goddess reborn as a mortal. What? The day of the ceremony, Girahim's tornado tossed me out of the sky and down to the world below. I was nearly captured by the demonic forces, but I was rescued at the last moment by the old woman who lives in the sealed grounds. I had no memory at all of my existence as Hylia, but she explained it to me. She helped me to remember who I was and what I had to do. I set out to pray at the goddess statues located in each temple across the land. Each statue stirred up memories within me. After I visited all of them, Impa, an ancient of the goddess, led me here, to the past. All of this is part of the same great effort to prevent the revival of Demise. Stripped of his true physical form by the seal that binds him, he takes the shape of an abomination. But even in his hideous state, he's more than capable of devouring this land if we allow him to do what he desires. We must stop him from freeing himself from the seal that imprisons him, at any cost. That is why I intend to remain here in this time and place, to sustain that seal as best as I can. As long as I continue to this vision, we may be able to prevent the Demon King from fully reviving himself into our own time. I must maintain the seal that Hylia, rather, that I, created so long ago, and keep it strong for as long as I am able. With the memories of my former life returning to me, I can see now that this is my purpose. Link. The goddess created Phi and the great blade she's a part of for, for specific reasons. For the task of standing against demise. For the task of standing against demise in this monstrous form he now assumes rests solely on your shoulders. Back in our own time, you've already driven him back into his prison twice now. I can't thank you enough for that, Link. <laughs> During your long journey, you've grown so much. You learned wisdom from solving devious puzzles and traps. You gained power by honing and tempering both yourself and your sword. And by overcoming the trials set before you by the goddess, you found true courage. Now that those qualities reside in you, you are worthy of wielding the power the old gods left behind for our kind. You can claim the master sword. Yes, my lady. Valent hero, you have endured many hardships and journeyed far in your quest to reach this place. Along your travels, you have found wisdom, power, and courage. And for this, I shall bless your sword with the goddess's power. May it give you and your sword the strength to drive back the abomination that threatens this land. The mark you see upon the back of your hand is proof that you are the hero of legend and that within you dwells sacred power. It is the mark of the Triforce. Stand now, Link. Draw your sword. The goddess has blessed your blade and the Master Sword has at last achieved its ultimate form. The sword is now imbued with the mythical power to drive back demons, and only Link may wield it. Link, before I say another word, I feel like I owe you an apology. You see, the mark of the Triforce on your hand is, is a symbol. Oh my god, guys, I'm sorry, let me restart. You see, the mark of the Triforce on your hand is a symbol of the greatest power in this world. If you can obtain the actual Triforce, we will have the power to vanquish Demise once and for all. The problem is, among the countless souls in this world, only a select few 
those with an unbreakable spirit can wield its might. It's impossible to know the true reason why the old gods created the Triforce, but I have a theory of my own. The gods created the Triforce, yet they specifically designed it so that their own kind could never use its power. Somehow, I think that they may have been their way of giving hope to all the mortals being in this land. Which brings us back to you, to face demise and give the land hope, the goddess Hylia needed someone with an unbreakable spirit. That someone is you, Link. But spirit alone wasn't enough. You had to overcome many trials and awaken the hero within yourself so that you could wield that supreme power. And so Hylia, I mean, and so I, I knew that if it meant saving Zelda, you would throw yourself headfirst into any danger without even a moment's doubt. I, I used you. I can't begin to tell you how sorry I am for pulling you into all of this, Link. But you have to understand, this is a war, and the fate of the land hangs in the balance. I need your strength to tip the scales in our favor. that may be well intentioned and true, but it doesn't mean it's right, and it doesn't excuse my actions. But I'm prepared to pay the price for what I've done. To ensure that the seal holds, I will remain here in this time, deep in sleep for thousands of years. I'm sorry for the way I had to involve you in this. But until my memory of things before our lifetime returned to me, I had no idea we were fated to carry such a heavy destiny. Before all of this, I was happy just spending my days hanging around with you on Skyloft. I wanted that feeling to last forever. <laughs> Zelda! Zelda! <laughs> <laughs> While it's true that I am Hylia Reborn, I'm still my father's daughter, and your friend. I'm still your Zelda. <laughs> when Demise is finally gone, there will be no need for the seal that binds him, and then I'll be able to wake up. So I'm going to ask you a favor, sleepyhead. Ever since we were kids, I'd always be the one to wake you up when you slept in. But this time, when all of this is over, will you come to wake me up? I promise! It's done. Are you all right? No, not at all. I just lost the love of my life. Hey, but I got a cool Master Sword, guys. Whoa, look at that. Yo, guys, look at that sword. That's cool, hold up. That's better. All right. I see you said goodbye. Now you must keep the promise you made to her. You must find the Triforce. Return to your time. There was work to be done there. Do not fear for Zelda. I will watch over her here. Go now and fulfill your destiny. 
Thanks, Impa. And for that, I will play you a beautiful tune. Alright, we're out of here. Alright, let's head back to the sealed temple. Oh my gosh. Guys, that was so emotional. Alright, you know what? I know what to do. I gotta do this for Zelda. I gotta do this for Zelda. So you've returned. Oh, it's the old lady. Then you know everything. On the other side of that gate, Zelda waits, suspended in a sleep without end. But do not despair, she is well. True to legend, the Triforce is the one thing with the power to vanquish demise. It is the thought to have been hidden within Skyloft by the goddess. Sadly, that is all we know of where it rests. All other clues to its whereabouts have been lost to the ages. Link, you have likely come to the same conclusion. But I will spell it out just the same. The key to finding the Triforce must be in Skyloft. Go now, Link. Find the Triforce. Yo! Yo! Whoa there! Hold up! Link, there's something I gotta tell you. What is it, Groose? <laughs> so, Zelda, how's she holding up? Was she okay when you saw her? Actually... Ugh, that's terrible. It's gotta be so hard for the poor girl. Uh, including me! Bro, that was so emotional for me, bro. But you're going to do something about this mess, right? Of course I am. Link, I've made up my mind. I'm not going back. WHAT?! I'm staying right here with Granny. Ah, uh, don't look so bummed out. Do I look sad? Nah, I'm doing what I want to do. I don't know how to explain it. I got this feeling in my belly that there's work to do here. Someone's gotta watch that big ugly monster and someone's gotta make sure Granny's doing alright. It ain't as action-packed as what you're doing, but maybe this is my destiny. Know what I mean? Besides, it's not so bad here. Living up in the sky was okay, I guess. But don't you just love the way it smells down here? Uh, no. That, that's kind of weird. Uh, wh what? That's not weird to say. Uh, anyways, check it out. Zelda and Granny have brought life back to the land here. I bet even the weakest sapling could grow into one beast of a tree in soil like this. It's brightened this place up a little too. I mean, sure, it'd take a few years for it to grow, but as far as I'm concerned, I got nothing but time. It's weird to say out loud, but that's just how I feel right now. So, yeah, you know? When you get back to Skyloft, do me a favor and let people know I'm doing okay down here. Colin and Stritch might get a little emotional since they look up to me, but you tell them I'm happy, okay? And also, thanks, Link. You're welcome, Bruce. I'll catch you in a bit. Alright, let's save. Oh my gosh. This is way too emotional, even for me. So we gotta head back to Skyloft. Alright, here we go. Sorry, old lady. Let me get back. Dude, okay, I can't get over this. Hold on, hold on. I can't get over this. Look at my sword. Woo! Just look at that beauty, bro. Hold up. Yo, look at that. Look at that baby shine. I'm sorry. I can't get over it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'd rather choose the Skyward Sword Master Sword over, uh, the Breath of the Wild Master Sword. I'm sorry. I like the Tears of the Kingdom Master Sword because you can obviously, like, fuse it with different items. But, dude, I'm, I'm, oh. Oh, these guys want round two? Look, if y'all haven't seen my last video, you better go watch it. Like, get caught up. Like, don't, don't just watch this and forget about all the other Skyward Sword videos I've done in the past. 
Go watch them. You'll get a laugh or two out of it, okay? But anyways, round two. Oh! Whoa! That swing was immaculate. Hold on. Skyward strike. Oh! Yo! Now that's what I call a beauty. Holy crap. That was actually really cool. All right. To the sky! Yeah! Alright, we gotta go to Skyloft. We gotta go to Skyloft. Wait, so who has a lot of knowledge? I'm... Okay, alright, sorry for pausing the game, guys, but hey, I just remembered. Last time, we got knowledge from Zelda's dad, so, you know what, let's go talk to him and see if he knows anything about the Triforce. Alright. Crazy. Alright. Oh my gosh, I, I'm sorry. I can't get over the Master Sword. I love it way too much. Especially that we're gonna complete the whole game without using a shield. Oh yeah, flashy as ever. Flashy. Okay, you heard me. You heard me. Hashtag copyright Tengen Uzui. Flashy. Come on, I can use that word. If Tengen can say it, I can say it, okay? And if you're not a fan of Fuego, you should already know that I am a huge fan of Demon Slayer. But anyways, look at that! He has something important to tell us. Hey. Ah, hello, Link. Have you heard anything more about my daughter? <laughs> yeah, it's very, very bad. What is it? If you know anything at all, I urge you to share it with me. You want to tell me, but you can't. Hmm. I understand. I'm sure you have a good reason for keeping quiet. Link, I have been doing some thinking since we last spoke. You had this destiny thrust upon you without warning, or choice, for that matter. But I wish to help you as best as I can. I'm getting older, and I lack the vigor of youth. But even old men have ways of being useful, too. I wish to stare... I wish to share as much of my knowledge with you as I can. If you have any question, any question at all about Skylock or its history, I will be glad to tell you that all I know. Well, actually, what do I know of the Triforce? Link, where did you hear that word? Well, um, let's just say that, uh, well, guys, if, um... Obviously, Link already knows the Triforce, but do you see, like, there's a Triforce right there? Like, it's obvious. We're looking for the Triforce. Our tri- the Triforce is the main objective here, okay? Now, please, stop talking and move on. Blah, 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 Dracula, I do not say blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm out of here. Goodbye. I'm done. Hey, 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 Link, just a moment. Though, there is one whose vast knowledge may be of use. <gasps> oh! Okay, so he's gonna tell us how we're gonna get the Triforce. Surely you're familiar with Levias, the great sky spirit who has guarded our realm for ages. Okay, I was not expecting that, but okay. Levias has served as the protector of our skies for a long time, and his knowledge of our world is... Enclopedic? Enclopedic? I don't know how to say that. Uh, to put it mildly, if anyone in the entire if anyone in the entire land of Skyloft and beyond were to know about the Triforce, it would be him. Yeah, hold on. What is that word? Yes, his knowledge is almost limitless, but I fear meeting him may be harder than you anticipate. 
I imagine you're in your travels, you've taken notice of the tremendous thunderhead that suddenly appeared in our skies. Recently, I've heard rumors suggesting that Leviathan is trapped inside that massive cloud. I asked instructor, Ow instructor Owlin to look into this troubling cloud in order to determine if there any truth to these rumors. I had meant to inquire about his findings earlier, but completely forgot about it. Zelda went missing, blah, blah, blah. Can we please move on? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go talk to Instructor Owlin. Bruh, I swear, NPCs be talking way too much, like... Alright, uh, ins Instructor Owlin. Alright, here we go, here we go. Alright, uh, I'm not gonna sleep in his bed, that's disgusting. Uh, Link, how goes your search for Zelda? Have you found her yet? What? Levias? Ah, so you've been talking to the Headmaster, I take it. If I'm correct, Levias is the one inside the Thunderhead. But, that's not the Levias that we all know. That's... A monster? Okay, uh, well, the Headmaster told me that he has knowledge for me, and now you're telling me that he's a monster. Who am I to believe? It certainly looks like Levias. The last time I approached him, he came rushing at me, and his eyes, they were full of malice. People change, or old, wizened creatures change rather. Perhaps it's more like he's possessed by something. That's how it felt to me. A parasite of some sorts. What? You want to talk to Levias? That's impossible. I don't think Levias is capable of listening. Not in his current state, no. And, even if you were to get close enough to talk to him, it would likely end with you getting brushed aside and sent falling to your death in a sea of clouds. What? You're still planning on going? Of course! I'm the hero of the skies! I see. It's because you need to find Zelda. I already found her, I just need the knowledge of the Triforce. Dumb nuts. Hey, I have an idea. Come with me. Oh no, what are we doing now? What is it? Hey! Levi's in is inside the Thunderhead. He's been acting so strangely, like something has possessed him. If we can somehow free him from whatever it is that hold over him, there's a chance he will return to his senses. Listen well, Link, because I'm about to teach you a very powerful bird riding technique. Woo! Let's go! Red is gonna get an upgrade! It's called the Spiral Charge. Okay. Okay. Using the Spiral Charge, you can rid the Levias of the Blight that is holding him. The technique is quite easy to perform. All you have to do is make your bird spin right around, baby, right around, right around, baby, right, right around. This is a technique that only Senior Night Academy students who have mastered high-level flight skills are allowed to perform. It's still a bit too early for you, but, this is an extraordinary circumstance, so I'll make an exception this time. However, I will test you. First, dive off this platform and call your bird. Alright, alright, uh, 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 okay, sorry. Link, where are you headed? Dive off this platform and call your Luffwing. I'm backing up, numbnuts. Alright, three, two, one! Yeah. I know we're not playing Mario, but there's nothing else I want to say right now, but Mario's Wahoo! Alright, listen up, Link! I taught your love Link to perform a spiral charge! Alright, so here you go. You need to hit all those targets in uh, the uh, 10 targets in the time limit that I give you. Uh, you. If you can destroy 10 targets in under 120 seconds, I will recognize you as a skilled Lothwing rider. Alright, off you go! Okay, let's do this. Alright. Uh, spiral charge! Oh wow, that was simple. Alright, get the bird, get the bird, get the bird. Spiral charge! Alright, let's get the birds first. Spiral charge! Alright, let's, alright. Come here, you. Alright. Spiral charge! Let's go. Alright, let's get that one. Come on, come on. Spiral charge! Woohoo! I need another one. Give me another one. Ah, uh, spiral charge! Wow, that was weak. Alright, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. Spiral charge!
right, here we go, guys. Spiral charge! All right, two more. Come on, come on. Spiral charge! And... Ah, uh, where's the last one? Where's the last one? Oh, shoot, I'm gonna run out of time! Go down. Wait, I'll go this way. I can't find any more. Holy crap. No, 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 no. All right, here we go. Here we go. Spiral charge! Woohoo! That's how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. From here on out, that's how we do it. Oh, you managed to destroy 10 targets within a time limit. If you can control your bird that well, you have no problems at all. I knew you could do it, Link. And what a magnificent red bird. And blah blah blah, spiral chart attack, qualify. The next thing we have to address is how to get, how to, okay, the, the owner of the lumpy pumpkin might know something. Go to the lumpy pumpkin. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, okay, let's, uh, yeah, let's just uh, do this. Blah, 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 blah. All right, and, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Oh my gosh, Link, you suck. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna end the video there. This has been your boy, Goldie Fuego. I appreciate you watching the video. Don't forget to hit that like button. You better smash it as hard as you can. And why not just go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel, all right? Next video, or next part, uh, Skyloft, meet with Levias and ask about the Triforce. All right. You already know how it goes, but I appreciate you watching, guys. Thank you so much. And um, if you would please uh, go down in the comments and let me know if there is a specific video game you want me to play. If you want me to play something like Mario, Donkey Kong, Zelda-related, or just any game you had in mind, put it down in the comments, and I would formally appreciate it if you would if you would subscribe and leave a like if you enjoy the video. But uh. All right, I'm out of here, guys. Take care. Pa 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 peace.